Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and this is one of Lugerman's 45 caliber 7 inch barreled adjustable sight target model Lugers. That's a bit of a mouthful. Um, and the purpose of this gun is to be awesome. That's, that's really kind of the only way I can honestly put it. Like, this is not intended to be a historical reproduction. It certainly isn't an original historical pistol, although it is based on the actual DWM 1907 pattern Luger, which was in fact the Luger used in US test trials. I've talked previously about how you can't make reproduction guns so easily because you can't just get the technical data package for old out of production guns. Well, this is in fact a perfect exception to that, uh, that whole line of thought because in this case, the actual technical data package from DWM does survive, and it was acquired by, it's actually been used by a couple of people most recently, and as far as I can tell, most effectively and best used by Lugerman, uh, Eugene Golubsev. And so this is based on the, the, uh, the original 1907 pattern 45 Luger, but it's got different sights, it's got a longer barrel, it's not, you don't put this up on the wall to represent the 45 Luger in US test trials. Uh, you don't conceal carry this thing. I mean, you could, it'd be pretty sweet, but it's a really kind of ridiculously expensive pistol and it, it's not designed for carry. It's not the smallest, it's not most reliable. Heck, if you do carry this thing and you actually have to use it, the police are gonna confiscate this thing and it's going to make you very sad. Um, you also don't necessarily buy this as a target pistol. I mean, that's that's what it's designed to be. That's the role that it's supposed to fill. But it's not like you can't get a really good target pistol for less money than this. Um, you get this pistol because it is simply awesome. It's like the same reason you would buy a Ferrari. You don't need the Ferrari's power and handling to drive to the grocery store. Um, you know, you don't need to go buy a Rolex to tell time. You, any better than a Casio watch for 20 bucks or your cell phone that you're probably carrying anyway. Watches are purchased as status symbols and because they are awesome. Uh, if you want to be cynical about it, things like this are purchased by people who want to prove to other people how great they are. If you want to be uh, a little more gracious about it, and I think this is entirely accurate in many cases, things like this are purchased by people who have a true appreciation of the craftsmanship that went into it, and they have the disposable income that they can decide to spend it on something like this, or a Rolex, or a Ferrari, and enjoy the fruits of that exceedingly skilled labor. So this isn't the sort of thing that we normally look at on Forgotten Weapons, but it legitimately is a seriously awesome pistol, and I didn't want to give up the chance to actually get my hands on one and try it out. So. I did what I normally do. I took it out and did some shooting at some steel targets and a spinner. All right, let's see if I can spin the spinner with a 45 Luger. I've only got seven rounds to do it in because I don't want to deal with a mag change. So we'll make them count. <laughs> oh yeah. There we go. Whee! The squared off sights front and rear, really nice.
two-handed is clearly easy mode, so let's try hard mode. One-handed on the silhouette. The reason I'm coming back to Lugerman again is because I'm just honestly impressed at how well the gun actually works. Having shot other types of other brands of reproduction 45 Luger that sell for ludicrous prices, substantially more than even these things sell for, which is impressive given how expensive these are, these ones actually work. And that is, it, this might be counterintuitive, but that's actually pretty remarkable in this market because the other reproduction 45 Lugers I've shot have generally been malfunctioning nightmares. It's almost like they're people, the, the manufacturers don't even expect that they're supposed to be shot. You know, they're so expensive, they're just supposed to sit on a shelf and look pretty, which I'll admit they do quite well. But if people who actually want to appreciate the workmanship in one of these, instead of just set it on a shelf and have it be pretty, I think it Lugerman deserves some recognition for the fact that these guns actually work, uh, which is no small feat. Even, even among new production guns that aren't intending to be a reproduction of something, they're not intended to, to go back and duplicate an older gun um, or modify it to 45 or 10 millimeter. He makes these things in 10 millimeter automatic as well. Even just standard new production guns often have trouble working. It's something that you it's counterintuitive to a lot of people, but it turns out firearms are actually really hard to make 100% reliable, and anyone who manages to pull it off has done something really particularly noteworthy, and usually it takes many years of development to do. So uh, a gun like this from Lugerman I think is just remarkable in that it's super awesome just for what it is, um, and it's also actually a fully functional gun. Like, you could take this to a match. You could carry this thing if you were crazy enough or eccentric enough to do so. And that's worthy of note. Those sights I just couldn't get over in the shooting video. You'll notice we have a nice square front post there. And that sits into a nice square rear notch. This is as opposed to the standard Luger sights, which are a V-notch in the back and a barleycorn, or a triangular pointed front post. In addition, these are adjustable, so you can see the little tiny set screw there, and there's a little tiny set screw down in there, uh, and there's actually a third little tiny set screw on the left side. So these are fully adjustable. Uh, interestingly, much to, I, I was a bit surprised and a bit impressed to find that when I got this pistol in, it was actually perfectly zeroed. I haven't even touched those. The magazine holds seven rounds. Uh, it is an extremely stiff magazine spring, comes with a loading tool, which is an absolute necessity to load this more than about three rounds. That strength of the magazine spring is necessary because the Luger toggle action cycles very, very quickly, and it requires an extremely strong and fast magazine spring to actually reliably feed it ammunition. Uh, which is, I, I suspect that's a big part of why this gun works and so many of the other uh, 45 caliber Lugers don't. The grip angle feels very nice, as Lugers typically do. Uh, however, the grip itself is actually, well, the whole frame is wider than uh, a standard 9mm Luger, for obvious reasons. And to me, uh, right up here at the sort of the top of the grip, it's a bit square and it's a bit wide, and uh, it feels, it gets a bit uncomfortable. Uh, shooting a lot. Especially a two-handed grip tends to square your hand off a little bit differently than a one-handed grip might. Um, just as, you know, when, if you if you sit down in a Ferrari, you, you accept that it's a bit uncomfortable and you drive it anyway, sacrificing yourself nobly for the cause of looking awesome. It's kind of the same uh, with this. Yeah, it's not as comfortable to shoot as a 9mm Luger. That's because it has a lot more awesome coming out of the barrel and it is your responsibility to simply accept that and uh, deal with it.
the rest of the features are basically the same as you'd have on a Luger. So there is a grip safety, there is a manual safety. Um, we have the, the toggle script up here, which is LMI, uh, very specifically done in the same style as DWM's DWM script uh, to replicate that look. And then of course you have Lugerman's uh, marking on the side of the gun, that's a legal necessity, of course. And uh, that is what a boatload of cash gets you in a 45 Luger. If you are the sort of person who has the, uh, the disposable income to purchase something that is this awesome simply for the sake of being awesome, uh, you can find these at Lugerman.com. There is a wide variety of, of options. I think this is the, the coolest one of them, the, uh, the long barrel target model 45. So there's 45s and there's also 10 millimeter guns. He makes a three inch compact, which is neat, but eh, to me. He makes a standard model, which is an actual reproduction of the Army Test Trials gun. That's a 4.75 inch barrel. That's pretty cool but with standard sights, as it should, as a reproduction. And then he makes the seven inch squared off adjustable target sights. That's this one, that's the awesomest. There is also then a longer barreled carbine version. In 10 millimeter, you have basically the same options, except instead of a seven inch barrel target gun, he has a 10 inch barrel hunting uh, style of pistol. And to me, this is cooler than that is. So um, these things, very substantially in price, uh, although they start at the level of if you have to ask you can't afford it. So I will leave it to you guys to go check out all the different options and different prices. And you know, this is one of those things where window shopping can be just as fun as actually buying the thing because man, they look cool. So um, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back uh, next time with a more historical, specifically historical firearm, I think. Thanks for watching.